let's say you are writing the jam exam and you came across this question how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says the half-life of a radio nuclide is given to be 64 hours all right the question now says determine its decay constant now this question is very easy before solving any question in chemistry it is very important for you to know the topic to which that question is from and from the look of things this question on the board is from a very important aspect in chemistry and it is simply called radioactivity i'm going to tell you why i said that just listen so this question is from the topic in chemistry called radioactivity and why did i say that i saw half-life and that's where I saw decay constant in this question. So it's a confirmation that the question is from radioactivity. So what do we do to solve this question? It's very simple. Listen carefully. The question says, the half-life of a radionuclide is given to be 64 hours. Now, first of all, I have to tell you the symbol to which half-life is denoted. Now, first of all, it is important for me to tell you the symbol to which half-life is denoted. And this half life you are looking at is symbolized as T half. Please take note. When we are about solving the question, we are not using half here. The symbol for half life is simply T half. I can decide to change it to be A, B, C, as the case may be. But you should know that for half life, the symbol is what T half. And from this question, they gave us half life to be what? 64 hours. They said the half life of a radionuclide is given to be 64 hours. So T half is equal to what now? 64 watt hours. So listen carefully. The question now says, determine its decay constant. So it's important for you to know the symbol to which decay constant is denoted. And it's symbolized as lambda. So from this question, they're asking us to get lambda. Now, in the topic radioactivity, there is a formula that relates half-life and decay constant. That formula is simply, listen carefully, is simply T half which is half-life is equal to 0 0.693 right, divided by decay constant. Are you there? So from this question, we are asked to get decay constant. So we have to make decay constant subject of formula. So making it subject of formula, we divide by 1 and cross multiply. So making decay constant subject of formula is going to be 0 0.693 times 1 divided by this. I believe you understand how to make something subject of formula. It's very simple. So decay constant will not be 0 0.693 all right times one divided by what now t half i believe you are following it's very simple now from the question we've got so let's impute our parameters so the decay constant we are asked to you know determine will not be 0 0.693 times one is still 0 0.693 divided by half life and what is the half life in the question it was given to us to be 64 hours all right so 64 what hours so then let's impute the parameters in the calculator we have in 0 0.693 divided by 64 hours that is 0 0.01083 all right so the decay constant is 0 0.01083 Three. Now, let me tell you something. Now, it's important for me to tell you something very important. Now, you must understand here that half-life on definition, it is actually time to which half of a substance disintegrates, to which half of a substance breaks. Are you there? That is what half-life is. So, if you observe, I said half-life is time. Are you not seeing the unit to which the value was expressed? It was expressed in hours. And what is hours? Hours is time. I believe you are following me. So half-life is actually time. Whereby moving over to the other parameter in this question, which is decay constant. I believe you can see it. The most important thing here we should look out for is the unit for decay constant. Since half-life is basically time, and in the course of this question, they gave us half-life to be in hours. So there's something you should understand. Decay constant units will not be a function of the half-life unit. So since half-life was expressed in hours, decay constant will be expressed as per hours. Are you there? It is simply the function of half-life unit. Let's say, for instance, half-life was expressed in seconds. 
the unit for the K constant will be per seconds. Do you understand? And this per hours will be symbolized as hours raised to the power of minus one. That is how it is. I believe you are following me. As earlier said, the unit of your decay constant is a function of your half-life unit. So let's say, for instance, half-life was measured in seconds. Then what becomes the unit of your decay constant per seconds? So tell me in the comment section, if half-life was measured in minutes, what becomes the unit of your decay constant? Now put that in the comment section. Are you there? That's a question for you. So you can see that because this half-life was expressed in hours, what becomes the unit of our answer? Per hours, hours raised to the power of minus one. That is the mathematical expression for per hours. So, what's the answer to this question? It is actually option A. You can see how easy this question is. So, get ready for your own practice question whereby I'm going to change the parameter. I said that was 64 hours. I'm going to change it to be, let's see, 90 seconds. And the question now says determine the decay constant. It's still the same approach. So solve this question and provide the answer in the comment section. Now listen carefully. There are other aspects on that radioactivity. I already have a full video lesson on my channel that explains everything you should know about radioactivity. All the videos are arranged in the playlist. And here is the playlist. So after watching this video, make sure you go watch that full lesson to understand the rudiments of radioactivity from the scratch. So we've come to the end of this lesson. If you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button and also share my lessons with your friends. Thanks for watching. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.